Okay. Checking out your latest version. So timing corrections there, all right? Love all this here. It's also great. Da, da, da. Alright, so I think this is gonna work, right? Alright, and uh, that doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. See, I think, let's see. As you continue on, you gotta make sure that, you know, as you keep on refining, like, like you know, this is a very harsh ending. I'm just pointing out the obvious, but you know, as you're splitting this, you want to give this just enough. Because it will kind of roll over and his strength will kind of fade out. So it's not going to be a, just a harsh stop. It's going to be like, and slow in, then go down, and this guy, and then this guy to go here. I'll be careful because he's starting to push this way, right? So if I have an arrow here, there you go. So he's pushing this way. But I will make sure there's still enough of a feeling of. I'm going up um, with my head so that there's potentially, you know, a straight line as he brings that that thing up like that. And then after that, you would reach like, this type of thing where his arms start to bend and he gets into this. So good. That's getting better there. Let's watch this again. I think you can go... So be careful. You have the beginning of him lifting it up, but it's already going up here. So I will go um, to this point here. Like he gets to this first, to this line. You know that his body's having that C curve, and again stretching out his arms this is a fantastically horrible drawing. But he gets to this, and once he reach, reaches the max amount of, of pull here, and this starts to straighten, right? That arm. That's when the the thing comes up. And it's just a little bit too linear there, but right, it kind of pops up. You know, watch out, it's going through uh, his body and all that good stuff. But so, you know, same thing here. You gotta get away from the linear keys, right? That's your linear moment where this goes up here, it goes up here, and then go, immediately goes down. So you know, your arc feels like this as opposed to boom, right? And then I think he, this goes down, and the reaction to it is, is him going up with his body. But to me, it would be the opposite, right? So you got all that weight coming down, boom, and then it would be a moment of potentially. Let's, see, let's go back here. Like, you know, he would have maybe his body would be all the way down here, and he's bent over um, with this thing down here. And he might, you know, have a moment of, whoa, what the hell's going on? And then after that, um, he can push up into here. Right? You want to have a moment of the weight of this hammer is going to come down and he's not quite prepared for this. So the momentum of the weight of all this, it's going to continue just a little bit and then his, his legs going to push against it and then he goes up. And right now it's going up and hitting him on the shoulder. And then it's, he's immediately going up, especially this here is your big linear key there. So the weight of all this that you established here is kind of gone boop, right there. That's fine. And this, I think you go, oh, I think this comes a bit early, this reversal. So I like that he's going this way, kind of, you know, uh, showing I'm going to go this way. But then I will wait until maybe like this step to be that far back. Like he's pushing with his body, always curved this way, pushing, 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 and then it's at this point, and I wouldn't actually stop here, so it would be C curve, C curve, get into reversed for this. So you're kind of mixing a couple things, and this is going to pop. But the idea is, all right, you go from from this, skip all this here, and then you will get to like, yeah, again, this is going to totally pop. But the idea, right? You're you're staying in this, and as he goes forward, you're still staying in this, and you're doing this move backwards, right? Where his his spine goes from this to a reverse. Um, that happens as you get into into this, right? C curve at this point, still here, 
and slowly going back into into this. So you have this nice, I'm pushing forward, I'm pushing forward because I'm going this way. And then that big C reversal there. And then you gotta make sure that right now he's pushing this thing up, right? And this is just physically not quite working because he's, it feels like he is using that arm, right? To push this thing up here. And at the same time, that arm slides down. But the thing is, if that's your momentum, I'm pushing this up here, it's going to come that back down here. So for him to go this way feels weird. So to me, it feels like if you go with this, right, and you have that reversal, that's my, that C line there, and you break that to get into this pose, I have to totally sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so by... Imagine he is a uh, hunched over like that with the hammer like this, right? And has his arms like that. And he's then pushing, like he's using his reversal and it gives you that kind of, a, of an arc. That way you can start pushing. Um, you know, imagine he's kind of halfway going there, right? And starting to, however his arms are, push that thing up right that makes no sense i'm still getting used to my drawing tool there as i push control it draws the moment i i push control it draws if i don't like if i go up right it still does it i gotta let go of control anyway totally not relevant so to me it feels like if he is leaning forward with his uh with his body and he's got the hammer up here and he does that kind of push off and then back that gives us just enough of an arc to motivate this because the the trajectory of the hammer was that and boom and he goes back right so it's again he goes secret secret reverse and then boom and i would probably end this with when this lands he might actually be and this might be different than what i said before but not watching it now i would probably do something where uh he's like this where that thing is leading everything <laughs> Is leading and driving and it's going down so fast that it's pulling him down uh, and it will be this comes this hits first and then this hits second and then right after that and then that at the end right so this would be one and then this would be two and this would be three and then this would be four bam 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 in succession and it's all driven by the hammer at the end right so it's almost He's trying, 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 you can almost have it land or be like this, right? Where his body's like this and he's trying to get it and that makes no sense. But, you know, oh, there it is again. So that's kind of the idea, I think, for the end. So it's not all landing at the same time, but it's really he's trying the best, he's, best he can. Imagine you're putting your whole force into this, right? You're doing whatever you can and you got arms back and everything and this is just keeps going down right and follow that arc of that character and that hammer just goes down and imagine just this is the thing that pulls you down All right so see that drop that it does here you'd wait you'd wait until that thing is here so it's really pulling him completely down so you, you, you can go crazy with um you know with that hammer he might still try like this and then it might start with one foot like that but you know that's kind of the idea so that it lands first and then it pulls everything um, this way right okay i hope this was not completely confusing um but it's coming along i think you're, you're making great progress just gotta you know break down separate areas and and work on you know, splining things and make sure your arcs work and think about the physics and the momentum if you bring something that heavy up here how long is the hang time? Then as it comes down, how quickly can the drop be cushioned and stopped by the body? And so on and so on. Okay? Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you.